Hello and welcome back to the shed. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to make some hydrogen rockets. So here's the hydrogen generator you've seen before. If you want to know how I made it, then click on the link in the description or somewhere, find it on my channel. Um, so today we're going to be attempting to make some rockets. So at the end of the video where I made this, um, I showed making a few rockets. Um, well, just testing it. Um, and what, I, what all I did was I filled a uh, bottle with hydrogen and then stood it up in a hole in the table and lit it from underneath and bang it went up sort of 15 meters. But the first thing we're going to do is going to add some fins onto the base of the rocket. So here we've got our lovely bottle. So I'm just going to cut out some fins out of this thin foam board. So then we should have rockets that fly roughly straight up. Um, and I also should say that I made this uh, this rocket launch mount, which is just a uh, piece of hardboard uh, with a hole cut in it on another base. So uh, the rockets can sit on there. So there we go, it's uh, nothing particularly fancy, it's literally just three bits of foam board glued onto the end of the rocket. So now the the main thing that I wanted to do in this video was I wanted to test uh, nozzle design. So for the first test uh, we're going to just launch it with no nozzle on at all, so just, uh, just the opening. And then in the second test or third test, whatever, we might do some repeats, um, I'm going to drill uh, a you know, uh, slightly, uh, well, a hole in the lid and then put it on to slightly restrict the airflow and hopefully produce, um, I don't know, <laughs> better thrust. And um, that's what we're going to have to test. And then if the rocket doesn't explode, we'll drill an even smaller hole and test it again. So we can see if it makes any difference and if the extra weight of a nozzle is really worth it at this scale.
Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you have any suggestions for little experiments like this I can do in the future then please be sure to leave a comment. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.